Do you know Jesus was born poor so that we who believe in him, his sons, may become rich? Do you know Jesus is so rich and he is looking forward to bless each one of us? Do you know the Holy Spirit was upon Jesus for he and God because God anointed him to preach the gospel to the poor? Why to the poor? So that the poor may become rich spiritually and physically. You know the, 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 the anointing of God serves also to save souls from, from darkness, to heal the sick, and also to cleanse the lepers. The anointing is available. But until we know, we will not receive it. Until we know, then we will receive it. If we don't know, mm -mm. until we know. Are you understanding these things? So God is calling us to knowledge and to know that we have treasure. Treasure of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places are waiting us. And here God says no one is able to be able to access it unless God him, himself access it for us. He is the one who will give in. What, or what is the treasure of darkness and the riches of secret places? Those are the riches which is acquired by evil, by the evil ones. Thus you see in the world that we have many billionaires, millionaires, and um, many rich people, they are not godly people. So Satan has given to them those, uh, those riches. And God is saying he wants to give to us now in order to serve his kingdom, in order to serve the purpose of his will here on the earth, in order for us to win souls because those who win souls are wise. So all these things is, is in the power of God because he wants to bless us. God does not want to bless us to become millionaires and, and billionaires and, and, and trillionaires just because of our own sake. No, but it is for the, his kingdom. And if you see in, in, in Christian, the Christians, or Christians, how no many Christians are billionaires, trillionaires, and millionaires. No, there are few of them. But God wants us now to become very rich in order for us to show love to one another, to preach the gospel, and to serve the will and the kingdom of God here on the earth. Because the kingdom of God has come, and the kingdom of God is near, and the world is about to be end. So God is looking forward to bless someone who will say, Yes, I'm here, God. Give me the treasures of darkness. The word of God says in the book of Isaiah chapter 45, verse 3, it says, And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and, hid, and hidden riches of secret place, that thou mayest know that I, the Lord which called thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. So God is telling us that he wants to give us, he wants to gift us with the secret riches of, uh, no, with the hidden riches of secret places and also with the, the treasures of darkness because he wants us to become rich in his kingdom. You know, and the Lord himself is the one who does that. So are you ready? What I'm going to do is to intercede for every son of God all over the world that the God of Israel may grant us the secret or the, you know, to grant unto us the hidden secret place, you know, the hidden riches of secret places and also the treasures of darkness. And when I say amen, I say amen for myself because I believe God will do that. And if you say amen, you're saying amen of yourself, connecting with what the Holy Spirit has put in my heart to share with you, also for you to receive it, because it is the pleasure of God for you to become 
rich. It's the pleasure of God for you to prosper in your soul, also in your body, also in life, also in riches for His glory. So let me pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I myself, I believe your word and the people who also want to believe your word. Anyone who believe and say amen, God, including me, then give us those riches, the hidden riches of the secret places and the treasures of darkness. We need them so that we may become billionaires, millionaires, trillionaires, zillionaires in flesh, also in the spirit. So God of heaven, only your son Jesus Christ is able to access it. Jesus, may you access it for us, penetrate their treasures, and may you give it to the sons of God here on the church all over the world in the name of Jesus Christ. So I believe, God, you have done it through my prayer faithfully in Christ Jesus' mighty powerful name. Receive all the glory and honor, Holy Father God in heaven, for granting unto us what Jesus is about to give to his sons who are walking in righteousness, also in purity, and also in holiness. Amen and amen.